Hey guys, in this quickie video, I'm gonna show you how to check Acorn's analog spindle output. You should do this before you connect anything to it to make sure it's functional. It should be part of your bench test routine. To do this test, you're gonna to need to have your bench test out of the way, your basic bench test out of the way. That is, you've got Windows 10 configured, you've got CNC 12 software installed, you've got Acorn powered up on your bench, and you can bring up CNC 12 and communicate with Acorn. You gotta do all that stuff first. And once you've got all that done, then you can test the analog spindle output. Now it's important that you check this before you wire anything up to it. Um, make sure you're sure of yourself in what connections you make to your VFD. Acorn supplies the 10 volts to the VFD. Do not use the VFD's uh, 10 volt output. You'll likely damage your Acorn board. So remember this. Acorn supplies the 0 to 10 volt DC analog signal to your variable frequency drive. Okay, if you're using a DC spindle drive, make sure you're using a signal isolator between Acorn and the DC spindle drive. All right, with that, uh, let's get to it. Okay, here's my digital multimeter. I've got it set for DC, and its probes are connected to Acorn's uh, spindle analog output. So basically, I put Black probe to common, red probe to voltage output. This is the analog spindle output on Acorn. It's right next to the spindle encoder DB9 connector. All right, and those, those are the only things that are connected to Acorn. No wires, no wires to VFDs, nothing. It's just the probes connected to Acorn. Okay, let's go into the wizard. Okay, let's go to the spindle setup tab. And let's, for simplicity's sake, let's change the spindle max speed in high range to 1000. And let's make sure that spindle min speed in high range is set to zero. That'll just make things a little bit easier for us. And I'll explain here shortly. We're gonna write the CNC control configuration. We say yes, saved. Okay, all we're gonna do now is simply start CNC 12. And hopefully you can see, I'm trying to bring the, uh, the meter into view as well. All right, so no need to do anything else here but go into MDI and then do an M3, that's spindle forward, and then an S1000. And then hit cycle start. You can hit the green button over here on virtual control panel, or you can do Alt S on the keyboard. I'm gonna do Alt S on the keyboard. Now you see right here, the voltage is 10 volts because we call the max speed. The voltage is linear with, uh, with the RPM. So I chose 1000 so it's easier for us to see uh, when we're calling the high speed, the highest speed of 1000, we should get a full 10 volt analog output. Now let's change this to S500 in the MDI, and then Alt-S, and you see here it dropped down to five volts DC. All right, let's do an M5, which is spindle stop, and it should drop down to about zero volts, and it does. Again, M3S1000, cycle start. We got 10 volts. Now let's do S900, Alt S, nine volts. S800, Alt S, eight volts. S700, Alt S, cycle start, seven volts. S600, Alt S, six volts, and so on. So every volt equals 100 RPM. So that's why I chose 1000. So this tests the spindle output, the, the analog spindle output of Acorn. It's a very simple test to do. You can also go up here to the spindle control panel, virtual control panel. You can take it out of auto, click on it. Now it's in manual mode. And then you can hit the green button up here that turns the spindle on. And you'll notice here it says 50 RPM. Let's go to 100%, which is half the, sp the spindle range. It says 500 RPM here, and we got 500, or we got five volts DC here. We can increase this by hitting the plus button, 
and we're at 610 RPM and here you see 6.11. Go a little higher, there's 705, you can see 7.06 volts. So there you have it. It's a quick way to test your uh, spindle analog output on Acorn. Uh, make sure you test it before you hook anything up to it. And uh, if you have trouble with it, make sure you disconnect things from Acorn spindle analog output and then do this test. Put the meter on it and uh, run the test that we just did here. I hope that helps you. Talk to you soon.